Well, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised they feel that way. You're not, see, that's why you're so great. Actually, it's, it's quite, you know, typical behavior when you have this kind of dysfunctional group dynamic. You know, this kind of codependent, emotionally stunted, sitting in your stupid coffee house with your stupid big cups, which I'm sorry, might as well have nipples on them. <laughs> And you're all like, oh, define me, define me, love me, I need love. And you're describing Hollywood. You know, you're describing the problems with Hollywood. In Hollywood, when you make it, like if you're, you're in a movie and you're, you're doing well, everybody loves you. Oh, Coffeezilla, come on through the red carpet, let's go. Coffeezilla's hot now, we want to put him in this movie, and they want to put him on this show, we want to do this. And then when you're not, no one wants to talk to you. Doesn't that break you psychologically, though? Of course. That's why they're all crazy. <laughs> I mean, in, in Hollywood, it's even worse, right? Because you don't get to choose your own destiny. Like, you, you've you developed your own show, and you've created your own thing. You haven't been chosen. In Hollywood, the problem is you're being chosen for everything. So you're being cast in these things. So you have to deal with people that approve you or pick you. So you're formulating your personality based on whatever the zeitgeist is, whatever the ideology of most of the producers are. Like if all of Hollywood was right wing, right? If uh, all the producers and all the executives and all the studios were all very conservative and right wing, all actors would be conservative. They would all be pro-life. They would all be First Amendment, Second Amendment happy. They would all carry guns. They would all, it would be 100% compliance. The same way it is with left wing. They're not necessarily people that think that way. They think that way because that is the way to fit in and be successful. So you take people that already have this exorbitant need for attention and then you bring them into an environment where they have to be chosen. So you have to figure out what gets me chosen. So you form your ideas and opinions based on what's going to be the most successful. It's a mating strategy. It, it's weird because the fact you need to be chosen sort of makes you play the same game that you don't like, which yeah. is you have to go to the power brokers and you have to suck up to them the same way people suck up to you when you're successful. You have to go suck up to the successful people. Yeah. And now you're playing the same game where you're going to the people who are the decision makers and you're trying to woo them and pretend you're their friend. That's why when That's those weird. people do make it and they do get pushed through that red carpet, come on through, Tom Cruise, they're all fucking crazy. And a lot of them treat other people like shit because they want to let you know that they're a part of the chosen class. So that's like this thing about certain celebrities being assholes to to regular people. Like, wh why do they treat people like that? Well, the same reason why royalty does it. You know, like when you see the queen, you're supposed to bow. Like, this is how it goes down. That's why they became the queen in the first place. That's why they became a star in the first place. Because they want to be that person that just gets fucking exorbitant amounts of love and attention. It's, it's, and it's very unhealthy. And it's if ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and fuck off, OK? <laughs> So, it's already three hours long. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. 